You don't really know much about Halloween. Hello, and welcome back to another unboxing video. On this episode, we're doing something um, that I like to do periodically, which is toy unboxings. I do like to collect toys as an adult. I can do that. I can. Um, so if you would like to check out uh, any of the other contents, I am Joel, uh, one half of the Newly Deads. Uh, my wife, Laura, is also part of the Newly Deads. She typically does not join me on the unboxing videos. But if you'd like to find out the other content that we have available, please go to the Newly Deads dot com where you can find about our uh, tv show dollar store drive-in which is available on four different networks the monster channel the vortex tingler television and other worlds tv all the information about that is there we also do other videos like uh, uh, sinister snacks coffinated um, unboxing videos of course follow us around code orange um, and so we do put stuff up there we try to put stuff up at least twice a week although on fridays now i'm starting to do Dollar Store Driving Classic. So I'm starting with the first episode and kind of working my way through um, uh, all the original stuff. For those of you who did not see it when it aired originally on Tingler Television, um, and then the new stuff is online um, through the networks. And so eventually it'll all kind of come back around. But uh, I have thrown a couple of the newer episodes on there just kind of give you a taste of where we're at with the show, including episode 83, which was just a personal favorite of mine. And our Halloween Spooktacular, um, which of course Halloween is when we got married and is our favorite holiday. So I figured uh, I'd like to share that episode with you guys to see kind of what we were up to. So um, what else? What else? Uh, YouTube channel, you're already on there. So you already know where to find that. Oh, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, or you'd like to reach out to us about um, the, the blogs we write. There's what I forgot. Um, I do uh, Cinematorium, which is a movie review blog, movie review blog. Um, we also do Coffinated, which is a coffee review blog. And uh, Laura does Unearthing Small Business, which is for um, friends of ours that have small businesses or people that uh, are just interested in reaching out to us to help kind of promote their business. We're all about grassroots and kind of, you know, getting together to kind of lift each other up. So uh, again, you can reach us at contact at the uh, if you'd like to be a part of that. Uh, if you have coffee you'd like us to review, whether you own the, the, uh, the coffee roaster, what do you call it? Coffee, you know what I mean. Um, if you own your own company that makes coffee, uh, sorry, I need some more coffee is, is actually what's happening here. Um, then you can reach us there and we would be happy to feature you on the show. So what I have in front of me that you can't see, but I can, is um, I collect different things. Um, if you were to go into our house, either into our bedroom or into the living room here, you would see that there is just um, all kinds of different things that uh, I collect and that my wife collects. And so um, I tend to go to different places to get those things, whether it's um, in person or whether it is online through different manufacturers or um, resellers, stores, etc. This happens to all be from Big Bad Toy Store, which is one of my favorites that are out there working today. And in no particular order, uh, the first thing we've got here is Hiya Toys has recently come on the scene, um, at least as far as I'm aware, on my radar. Uh, and it's just kind of been taken over with these really um, super detailed, small and larger figures uh, that are reasonably priced, highly articulated. And one of the things that I love about them is that I'm a huge Leatherface fan. Like I have a big Leatherface collection of uh, memorabilia. And so they're slowly putting out these, these smaller size figures. Um, see if I can get the close up there and hide my face. Um, and each of these figures, you know, are pretty detailed for the size that they are. And they did um, the 2022 Texas Chainsaw, which is not a lot of merchandise out for that version of Leatherface yet, which I, I really love that movie. And I know that's kind of divisive, but I enjoyed it. 
Uh, this is the 2003 Andrew Bernarski, um, Michael Bay version of the character, which I've grown to love um, that one and uh, the beginning, which or new beginning, whatever the, the, the prequel was, the second one, um, I think are great little offshoots of the franchise. And I feel like some of the, the newer stuff has kind of tied it all together, including the Leatherface prequel movie, which again, kind of divisive. Um, but they're now working on the original, um, uh, Texas Chainsaw versions of the, of, of the character. So those are going to be coming out. This is the second of the 2003 version of Leatherface. So currently I have, this is my fourth figure from this series and high toys does make some bigger, like I said, stuff. Um, I just haven't picked up any yet. So the other thing, of course, that I think everybody in the planet collects or has collected at some point is Funko Pops. Huge company, went from zero to millions and millions of dollars in, in, in product in a very short amount of time. And let's see if I can get this over here. Um, and I kind of got sucked into it um, and have since amassed a, a pretty decent sized collection. Um, and so... This one, I couldn't resist, number one, because, you know, we, we like the Child's Play series and the Chucky TV show, which unfortunately just got canceled uh, and is never going to be finished, uh, was surprisingly one of the best shows out there, um, especially for a horror show. It was just a really clever, funny, over-the-top show, um, and I'm sad that it is ending. But anyway, this one is a very stylized, Halloween-themed, Halloween-colored um, good guy doll. You know, he's got the pumpkin here. Um, and you can't see it, but he's got a little knife. Well, here, maybe you can see it on the side. He's got a little knife that he is uh, using to carve the pumpkin. And they also did <clears throat> a one of, of, I would say that's Bride of Cherry, uh, uh, Pride of Chucky Error uh, Chucky. But uh, I ended up not getting both. I just went ahead and just got the one just because I don't have one that's that uh, I've got, uh, I think, just one Chucky Funko Pop. But this one is just is was kind of perfect for our aesthetic and, and who we are. So check it out. Available now. Then the final thing is uh, NECA has been releasing these Ben Cooper clothed uh, trick-or-treat kid figures, which um, they have the Ben Cooper masks and they have little trick-or-treat bags and they look like little kids out uh, trick-or-treating in the past, whether I don't know what if it's supposed to be the 70s, 80s, 90s, or all of the above. Uh, but they started with kind of the classic um, Halloween masks, and then they went to like, you know, kind of the universal, kind of the traditional monsters. And now they're starting to branch out into um, more modern characters, including like Captain Spaulding, uh, Xenomorph. Um, then they've got like uh, Gremlins. They're just, they're super cute. They're available through uh, some big retail stores, but you can get them directly through NECA and places like Big Bad Toy Store. I've not actually invested in any of them yet. Uh, they're on my radar, but I just hadn't done it. And then I saw these figures. And in my brain, I didn't connect the dots that they weren't the NECA figures. Uh, these were actually done by Super 7, which is um, had started out kind of with the reaction line of figures, uh, which I have a Ghostface one from that original run um, that was the packaging was a little bit loose. They've gotten a lot better as they've gotten further along. The, the price point is a little high, uh, but that also has started to see a decline as they've gotten to be a bigger company, uh, well more well known. They do kind of a retro 3.75 figure, um, like the old Star Wars figures, if you're a, a Kenner Star Wars figure fan, they are kind of in that vein. Uh, they've branched out now and do a lot more than just that, but that's kind of where they started, in my opinion. And uh, they were very successful at it. And so as my wife's, the theme of our, our existence as a couple is uh, the Bride of Frankenstein and Frankenstein's monster. So anytime we see things that are related to either of those or both, we if we like it, we tend to pick it up uh, if we really like it, um, then, you know, fantastic. And we've tried to be selective about it, but these were kind of perfect and I had to get them. So again, I thought they were the Ben Cooper NECA ones and I, that's on me. I should have paid more attention, but instead it's a super seven. You've got, uh, Frankenstein and the bride of Frankenstein Halloween kids, which how clever is that to release, you know, especially if you're a, a kid of my age who went trick-or-treating back in the day, uh, dressing up with the plastic smocks and the plastic masks that cut into your head and you couldn't see and they hurt and they smelled. And it was just, you know, it was kind of like you had to go through hell in order to get to heaven. Um, and that torture made the candy taste that much better. 
these like summarize that uh, perfectly. Now these are, you know, hard plastic figures. They're not like the NECA ones where they've actually got clothes and a little sack. Um, they do have the sack, but it is, it's not the same thing, but they're still, it's their attempt at it and I can appreciate it. I dig it. Um, so here, we'll give you a Frankenstein's monster up close first. And as you can see, he's got the bag. Um, he's got the little smock. Sorry, there's his face. And we have um, Frankenstein's monster and Bride of Frankenstein masks uh, that we got through, I want to say, Trick or Treat Studios that we used for our wedding. Um, here, let me move Chuck the other way. Then you can see the whole thing. Uh, and so we have a couple different variations on that. We even wore them in, in um, uh, some of our photos from our wedding. So th these masks are similar to that. They're not quite the same. But um, here's the, the lovely bride of Frankenstein's monster. She's got the, uh, the pumpkin pail, which I can absolutely appreciate. And they're just like, I don't know, it's just a weird thing. Like, why would you buy a figure of a kid going trick-or-treating? Uh, it's, you know has nothing to do with, you know, G.I. Joe's or Star Wars or anything like that. It's just it's just a little kid that is going trick-or-treating in a mask and costume. It's like, okay, so are you going to go play with Greedo in a galaxy far, far away? Or are you just going to hang on my wall and look really cute? And that's ultimately what's going to happen. Um, I love it. It's, it's like it says on the back, it's frightfully fun, and I could not agree more. I wish the price point was a little less, but I understand... Uh, especially in these, this day and age when you're a fledgling company and you're going up against these big juggernauts of toys manufacturers. They've been around for millennia. Um, you kind of have to stake your claim and, and, and make your way. And I like to support these companies because I like what they're doing. They're doing something different. So that is it. Um, thank you for watching. If you would like to uh, find more out about us, please go to our website, uh, send us an email, go to our Facebook page. Just look up The Newly Deads on Facebook. You can find us there. I'm very active on there. Laura is as well. So you can always reach out to us and we are quick to respond and we love to hear from you. So that is it. Just remember, kids, that nothing in life is guaranteed. So don't forget to unbox your heart. We'll see you next time. Festival of Sauron. Happy Halloween.